Hi and welcome to this on shape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the second part of how to create a thread in on shape. So whether that's an internal or an external thread. And this time we're going to look at a longer version of how to create okay this feature. However, it might be longer, but it does give you a bit more okay of an option and uh, customization. In the previous video, we looked at how to create an internal external thread using a thread creator, and that is a very quick okay process. However, okay, we're going to look at uh, a different process of doing that, which gives us a little bit more flexibility, and again, okay, uh, a bit more customization. So, we're going to drag this back in time, and then we're going to use this okay to follow uh, to create this design. So, what we've got there is the same what's on the tutorial tab. We've created this uh, base here and we've created these two sort of bosses. This one's got a hole in the middle for an internal and this has got one for an external thread. So what I did firstly is created an offset surface. Okay, so I use that tool, but actually the offset is set to zero. So all I'm doing is creating a surface for that. And again, I've done okay one here for the internal. So if we go over here, we've got okay different options here, as you can see. All right, and what we're going to do is create in here an offset surface. So we're going to select the face, which is going to be this one, and rather than saying five mil, we're going to say zero, and I'm going to name that okay external and confirm that. I'm going to do the same thing again. This time on the inside, again zero. And I'm going to name that one, okay, internal. And click, okay, on that to confirm it. What we're going to do next, <clears throat> if you have a look in here, if I scroll down, okay, I've used okay the move boundary so what i've done is i've basically if i hide these okay i've extended okay these two okay surfaces and the reason i've extended them is because if what we will do is we'll do it without moving them and you'll see the result of why i've had to actually create this so we're going to skip that one out first and then we'll come back in and do it actually so we've created a helix on each one of those and the helix will come into curves and it'll look like that and the options that we've chosen for each one of those is we've gone for pitch of one millimeter and we've gone clockwise so i'm going to come over here i'm going to hide okay these and i'm going to go into the options and choose helix i'm going to select that i'm going to go for pitch one millimeter like so we're going to start angle is zero like that one we're going to do the same thing and click on here pitch and one millimeter and tick that one and then here now we've got some extra curves so i'm going to name this one okay, external and rename this one internal like that what i'm going to do now is go into surfaces actually turn both off by just clicking on that so you can see we now we've got these okay helixes created and there if we have a look turn all that on that's on the outside that's on the inside okay so i'm just going to turn all those off and what i did next is i created sketches okay so on that one, if we have a look and zoom in. Okay, whoops, zoom in down here. So I've snapped this to the bottom of the helix. Okay, I've come straight up along that edge. Down here to make this triangle, and I've made each side equal. Now, because this has got a pitch of one millimeter, what I've had to do is make it very, very slightly small, and that's a 0 0.9999, okay? If you've got a... A pitch of say two millimeters it'll have to be 1.9999 it would not work okay if we have the exact same as the pitch so we just need to bear that in mind so we're going to recreate these two 
sketches. So that one there, okay, is facing inward. So let's do this one first. Okay, so if we click sketch, I'm going to have to sketch on a work plane. So the work plane we are after, okay, is this front one here. And we're going to click N for normalize, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to start sketching using this. So I can snap to that straight away like that. Or well, what I could do is I could draw it here like so. Oops, make sure you don't obviously cross those over. I want them to snap to each other. Okay, like that. Or oh, I could actually stop being lazy and just go like that, couldn't I? There we go, coincident. <clears throat> we don't want this point to snap to here, so I could just drag it like that, or I could select that point. Okay, and that point, and again, coincident. Okay, what we do now is select each one of those. And we're going to go equal. Okay, dimension is vertical. A to be no point. No, 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 no. Like so. Oh, actually, if I did, well, let's round it up. So if I just go 0.99, there we are. Now. Okay, so 0 0.99. And we can go in there and say this is going to be the external profile. Okay, and we're going to save that. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a sketch. Okay, on this front. And this time it's going to be poking outwards because this is basically, okay, the internal thread. So we want to remove it, okay, away from the design. And you'll see this later on. So we're going to choose that again. I'm going to snap to there. Okay, draw this out properly this time by snapping it together. Select each one of those. Select them again. Equal. Okay, dimension that to be 0 0.99. And name this to be internal profile. Okay, good to name things. So you remember, again, it's easier to say, you don't the wrong thing. So we're going to turn on, and you'll see this is what I did in here. So we're gonna create two sweeps where we're gonna remove, okay, material. So it's easier to see if I turn on. Okay, those two, turn off that, turn off that. If I do that, you see I've created an internal and external, so that's quite easy to do. I'm going to come down here, we're going to make sure we've turned on uh, these, like that. Okay, sweep, remove, solid, faces, I'm going to grab that one there, okay, which is this one here. Sweep path, select to there. Okay, and when that opens dates, you can see it's removed. Okay, that, and we can confirm it. There you go. Now, I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to show you, especially on here, what the what the issue is of why we need to we'll have to go back in time slightly. So, if I click on not base this one, I'm going to do the same thing. So remove solid, we're going to choose, okay, that profile, and then the path, uh, I presume will be and go in there. And I'm going to click tick. And you can see, again, that's removed, okay, the uh, material in there. So you might think, well, that's done. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> if we look closer here, okay, you can see We've started with that profile and then it's gone around, okay, all the way around and removed, okay, the the material there, but it's a left, okay, this bit which would actually have to be removed. Now of course I could put another little sketch in here and then do a cut again just to remove okay the last of that. Alright? However, there's another way of doing this, okay? So if we go up to here and we go back in time. Okay, to this, hide those, turn those back on, like that. 
So we've got the two surfaces. You will see in this copy, I use move boundary. And if we click edit, what I've done is I've extended. Now, technically you don't really have to do the top. You could probably just get away with say, do the bottom on these ones, but I've just extended, extended that. So it definitely cuts that thread right, okay, past that top surface. So I've extended that, so move boundary. So let's try that, okay. So if we click on here, that would be good. So move boundary, surfaces, edges, this one. Okay, this one, we don't need to go that far. And confirm that, and then we'll do the same. Okay, for here, like I said, you probably get away with just doing the bottom, but we're just gonna, okay, extend that like that. Then what will happen is the helix, okay, will extend for both of them. Hopefully the profile is still stuck to the start, okay, because I added those relationships of constraints on that one and that one. And then if we bring down the two sweep cuts and we turn off those and turn these back on, what you'll see now is that cut actually comes right past that bottom surface and again it comes right past that one. And if we zoom in a bit better you can see it's removed that okay extra material at the bottom. So you, you do have to extend it slightly for that to continue to cut. Otherwise, okay, we might leave a bit, okay, left on the bottom. Then you can see I've got this one, and if I wanted to, okay, and I want to, you know, combine all this together because I want it to be one part, you can use, okay, the Boolean feature here, go Union, and select all those. Okay, and once it catches up, okay, we've now got one part and in there it's got an internal and there it's got an external so you can see there's a little bit more okay process okay involved in that however you do have those customization sort of areas where you can for example okay in the helix you can not just determine the pitch that's what i did you could determine okay the height turns pitch height turns pitch and also and just turns you've got more options in there okay Again, you can obviously set clockwise and clockwise, and depending on what you select up here, you'll have additional options in there. So you can customize the helixes, and then the profile, I've created that little profile there and there. Okay, that profile can be you know, whatever you want. Okay, obviously it depends on how you want, okay, this thread to interact with another component or part. So that is the long way of how to create internal and external threads. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.